In this video I will talk about intermittent hypoxia and how to use it for anti-aging. As always I recommend you to download presentation as PDF file from the link in the description and here I present only short version of, of the uh, video which uh, uh, includes summary and uh, nothing more. Uh, but so in, in the PDF file you can see all the links to the, uh, the uh, source of information and also you can read all the presentation or otherwise wait for a longer video which I will upload also. Okay, let's go. The primary cause of aging is vascular stiffening which reduces blood flow and, and creates chronic hypoxia. Cells then shift to glycolysis generating lactate and reactive oxygen species which damage proteins and organelles. This causes some cells to become senescent and release inflammatory signals. Agent signs uh, include mitochondrial dysfunction, misfolding proteins, senescent cells, uh, tissue inflammation and loss of elasticity of tissues, stem cells exhaustion and organ impotment. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy uh, may have anti-aging effects by countering telomere shortening and cellular senescence. However, evidence is limited. Moderate intermittent hypoxia exposures, regular exposures, may increase antioxidant defenses and promote ang angiogenesis, so growth of new uh, blood vessels, mitophagy and stem cells mobilization through hypoxia-inducible mechanisms. High-intensity interval training and sport interval training trigger intermittent hypoxia. Regular exposure to intermittent hypoxia can change body composition and health status in older adults. Okay, long-living animals that show slow or negligible aging, they experience regular, regularly inter, uh, intermittent hypoxia due to low oxygen content in inhaled air, breath holding underwater or high metabolic demands of flight, in, these are including foreign species. Naked mold red, brand bed, uh, cock, uh, cockatoo, uh, bow, bow head whales, Iceland clams, and giant cell uh, sea turtles. Practically, high intensity interval training as well as uh, sport interval training can be used by elders as a method to slow aging even without a change in their diet. Following a ketogenic diet and consuming supplements uh, like ascorbic acid, arginine, uh, NAC, uh, glycine and taurine, uh, taurine uh, may result in better results, in my opinion. However, chronic untreated hypoxia such as an obstructive sleep apnea uh, hypopnea syndrome may lead to several uh, agent associated diseases, impair uh, muscle and uh, significantly shorten life. Therefore, more research is needed to define the optimal intensity of physical exercise and level of intermittent hypoxia for each individual. Okay, then I will not go to in the details. To see the details, you can uh, download presentation with all references uh, and then you read it and then you get uh, your um, uh, uh, knowledge in details. So altogether 15 references, uh, 15 scientific publications are used as um, uh, sources of information. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I share this my personal opinion. It is not medical advice because I'm not a medical professional. I'm a professional, sci a professional scientist, but again, I am in other area and uh, biology is my uh, so obsession, but yet I'm not professional. Okay, but so it is, I work in mostly for myself to extend my, radically extend my longevity and uh, what is working for me may not work for you. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed this short video and learned something new. And uh, please, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, uh, don't forget to press button like and bell. Uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. You, your support means a lot for me and helps me spread the word about this important topic. Okay, that uh, I would say uh, I use artificial intelligence uh, to also almost every day if I work on presentations or I, I work with the text, I use artificial intelligence. But what is interesting, uh, the artificial intelligence, it is just expressing opinion of, of WHO, 
World Health Organization, and it gives uh, exactly the same recommendation what official professionals do. My opinion is very different, so I, I use it, but I use it only for some very specific uh, questions uh, where, uh, to get more detailed information about who, uh, how this or that enzyme is working or whatever. So again, uh, we, we may expect in the next 5-10 years that artificial intelligence will be used in uh, healthcare, uh, to sh to uh, reduce uh, uh, cost of the medical care, but I don't think it will be okay. This is a good question how it will work, because what I do it is uh, very much different, and my opinion is very much different from official opinion because I believe that we can live as new royals. New royals means we can live uh, up to one thousand years uh, or even uh, get immortal. But uh, official uh, recommendations, they are working for short-living uh, individuals. So, and if you follow uh, these official recommendations, don't expect that you will live more longer than 122 years. This is a record, uh, official record of longevity. But again, it is possible uh, to live uh, much longer. But you have to understand, how, and this is what I do, I try to understand how to change uh, our uh, bodies and how to make it uh, that we can live much longer. Okay, have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time.